Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very requested video of how to install BMW Scanner. Now, if you guys do not know what BMW Scanner is, it is basically a replacement for IMPA and NCS Expert. It's all in English. It has a pretty nice user interface and is easy to use. But before showing you guys the steps on how to install it, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new. Also, check out my Amazon affiliate link down below as it helps out the channel at no cost to you. Also, if you guys are looking to buy the actual scanner interface, yes, unfortunately, a K plus DCAN cable will not work with BMW scanner. You are going to need to buy a different one. I will have one linked down below on Amazon. But when you buy the scanner, it does come with software. Don't use that. I will have all the software and drivers linked down below for you guys to use. And these are the exact ones that will be uploaded to my Google Drive so nothing will happen to them. So getting started, this really works on all OSs and specifically this video is for Windows 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the folder that says BMW scanner or BMW scan underscore 1.4. 1.4 is the version for the E46, E39, E38. And I believe that's it. There is another version for the E90s and E60s that is Harder to find, I haven't really looked too much into it only because I don't have any of those cars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, run as administrator, we're gonna press yes. We're gonna choose our language, English in this case. We're gonna click next, next again, create a desktop shortcut, and then we're gonna press next, click finish. And bam, we already, that's all it is to install it. The tricky part is the drivers for Windows 10. Windows 10 has a very weird drivers issue that doesn't like to install correctly. So we're gonna deal with that now. And I'm gonna show you how to correctly install the drivers for this. All right, so I'm now going to show you guys how to install the drivers for BMW Scanner 1.4. You will also be downloading this folder right here that includes the drivers for Windows 10. And you also have steps right here to follow if you want to look at them. So what we're gonna first do is plug in the scanner into the computer and make sure it's connected on the other end so the cable goes into the actual scanner interface. And it doesn't need to be plugged into the car, but I am using a VMware, so I'm going to click connect to Windows since that's what we wanted on my Windows side, not my Mac side. And then once it's connected, we are going to shift and right click on command prompt. We're gonna click run as admin. We're gonna click yes, and then we're gonna type in this command right here, bcd edit, just gonna copy that. And then you're gonna paste this into command prompt and press enter. Basically this enables the computer to go into test mode and it's just a way of installing drivers. We are going to get out of it. So once you paste this command into command prompt right here, you're going to restart. I'm not going to do it, I've already done it. And you can see right here, it says that I'm in test mode. So I'm gonna to proceed to the next part, but you should restart your computer, then come back here. Next thing, we're gonna open up device manager. And you should see under other devices, if your USB cable and interface are plugged into the computer, you should see BMW scanner V, it says 14X, but it's 1.4. If you are seeing USB serial port under here or under here, you're going to right click uninstall. You'd go right click uninstall device and you would uncheck drivers. That's only if you see USB serial that you have to do that. It's just... A, it has partially the drivers installed, but not all of them. So we do not want to do that. You'll also, if you come down here, it says this at the bottom right here, basically is what I'm reading off of. If you go under universal serial buses, make sure you do not see anything that says USB serial converter. You will also need to uninstall and delete the driver for that. It just causes issue with installing the drivers. But what we are going to do now is we're going to right click. We're going to click update driver, and then we're going to click browse my computer. And then we are gonna click include subfolders and we are going to go to the location for the driver folder that we, we saw earlier that you opened up the readme file from. So you're just gonna click okay. You're gonna click next and it's gonna install the drivers. This is gonna pop up. You're gonna click install this driver anyway. You're gonna click done. And now we're gonna see USB serial port with still an exclamation mark next to it. So that is fine. We are now gonna right click on it again, we're gonna click update driver again, browse my computer for software. We're gonna click let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. 
We are then going to click show all devices. We are then going to press have a disk. We are then going to press browse. We are then going to look for the file called FTDIBUS. You should still be in that folder, that BMW driver folder. If not, you're going to have to go desktop, go back to it, and then we're going to click on the bus or the one that ends in bus, and then we're going to click open. We're going to press OK, and then we're going to see these options here. And then at the top, you should see BMW scanner. Just choose the top one and then press next again. This is going to pop up, press yes here, and now it's going to install and we're going to click install this driver anyways again. And then you're going to press close and you will now see after doing so, we now see BMW scanner right here with no errors, no nothing. And then after we're done, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to open up command prompt and you're going to run this command right here. BCD edit slash set test signing off and then you're going to restart your computer again you do have to do this i couldn't figure out another way of doing it that's why i have it written into a steps to install drivers and i also had issues here where before i started i was stuck at the usb serial port if it says usb serial port under drivers uninstall and if it also says usb serial converter uninstall delete the drivers and then restart make sure when you start off it should say bmw scanner v14x and needs to say that so now what we're going to do is close this out close this out let's launch bmw scanner obviously i'm not connected to my car but what we can see if i click this it's going to say hardware not ready and that's just because we're not connected to the car that's fine but what we can see if we go up to scanner settings we can see drivers are installed and bmw scanner is plugged in so watch this i'm going to unplug it bam saying it's not plugged in so it's detecting our cable which is awesome. I'm now gonna run you guys through, we're gonna go to my car, connect to it, and just see, show you guys a couple of settings and stuff that you can mess with BMW scanner. All right, now that we have BMW scanner 1.4 installed, I have the cable plugged in and I'm now sitting in the car, so let's launch it. And then you'll notice two things. Switch ignition on and press continue, so we'll press continue and you'll notice, it'll pop up with some information, it'll say please wait. If it says hard, and then you'll notice two things. Switch ignition on and press continue. So we'll press continue and you'll notice it'll pop up with some information. It'll say, please wait. If it says hardware not ready, your drivers are, your drivers are installed incorrectly or your cable is bad. So we can see all the information about the car. And like we saw up here, if we went to settings, we see drivers are installed, BMW scanners plugged in. Now we're gonna press scan. And now this is just scanning the car for any errors, and this is going to also allow us to code with BMW Scanner 1.4. And yes, coding on this is very easy. Um, everything's in English. It has a lot more detailed options sometimes than NCS Expert. Right now, I am doing something with PDC, and PA Soft is what I want. BMW Scanner 1.4 is what I want. I do not want NCS Expert. It is so much easier to navigate and choose settings and parameters. And we'll show, I'll show you that in a second, but we're just scanning the car and take some of these errors with a grain of salt. Some of these errors are just ridiculous for really stupid things. Um, right here, starting with the DME and we are scanning the rest of the car. So let's let it scan. And then I'll show you some of the coding options that we can do. Yes, I do have a couple errors. Uh, one of my errors is my ABS pump is bad. I need to replace that. I know that I have some ventilation tank, something to do with the EVAP system in my engines causing those errors and I have some various other errors. So we're gonna stop it. So we'll check out my ABS errors. So we can click on the errors. We have three errors. And the first one, steering angle sensor internal, currently not present. That was because I did my tie rods and then it screwed up the steering angle sensor, so that's fine. We have, this is the one for my ABS pump, control unit internal failure. I need to replace that. And the last error I have is RPA push button error. I do not have the TPMS button to reset it so it throws an error. And I can clear these, but it's not really going to do much. They're going to come right back. So we can close that out. And then we can look at a module that we can do some coding. Some of the biggest ones that we can code are the IKE, LCM, and ZKE, and PDC. So we'll take a look at, there's a couple more, but we'll first take a look at the central body. We can click on it. And then in here, you can read the memory again, but we want to go under coding data. And now you would think you want to go read coding data, but you actually want to go under recoding. 
And now all these options pop up in English, super easy to use. All the options you would mostly want are here in English. So some of the things we'd want to change are, so opening and locking with the remote. So basically that will allow for the windows to go up and down, which is really cool. We can do it without the windows, without the sunroof. We can pick when the car locks. We can add things like the alarm, which I did. We can add what it does when the alarm goes off. So we can pick um, if it beeps. So we have acoustical with disarming we can pick. We can pick which lights go on with the alarm. Notice I don't have my low beams checked it's because I have xenons. I don't want those flashings. I, I only care about halogens. That's fine. We can pick the tone. And then if we want to change one of these, we can just press right, but we're not going to do that. So as you can see, it's super simple to use. And PA Soft or BMW Scanner 1.4 is what you need if you're going to replace the LCM to install LED taillights. I have a video on that, but th this video is just showing how to install it. The other cool thing, I'll give you guys a sneak peek for the future. Click on PDC, click on coding data, click on recoding. Now check this out. We have all the coding options for PDC, how it's enabled via switch or when the car first turns on, we can pick how many sensors we have. Note that you do need a PDC module that supports front and rear, more on that later, but this is just some of the things you can pick the distance at what the intervals go off. So we can pick how far away the sensors are. Um, we can pick the continuous beep. We can even pick how loud the volume is. So in the front, it only has a volume of two in the rear volume four, but yeah. So we'll cancel that and I didn't know this, I actually just found this out. You guys can come in here and do your service interval reset. So if we click on IKE, and then we can go service intervals, and right here you can see my service intervals and we can reset them all, which is awesome. So we can reset the time, we can reset the inspection and the serve and the oil service, which is super cool. Didn't know you could do any of this in PA Soft, but PA Soft has some awesome, awesome tools. You can let it scan. There's so many other different modules it can scan. I just stopped it for the sake of this video, but you can do like your TPMS sensor, the module for it, you can do your sunroof, your convertible top, your xenon headlights, mirrors, anything, all, any module that you can pick in this car, this thing, this application can scan. And I absolutely love PA Soft BMW scanner. I do use them both pretty frequently. I use NCS Expert and IMPA, and I also use BMW scanner 1.4. BMW scanner 1.4 is nice because it can code and diagnose the car like you just saw where as IMPA just does diagnostics and NCS Expert does coding and it's really difficult. I Like I said, it's worth it to have both tools just because they're so cheap. This cable's around $20 as well and obviously the DCAN cable is around $20 as well. Now I will say this, a lot of people ask me this, can you use the same cable for both applications, NCS Expert and BMW Scanner 1.4? And the answer is no, you cannot. You have to have two different cables but they will work fine with each other on Windows 10. So that's really all I have. This video was just going over how to install BMW Scanner 1.4 and to use it on your E46, E39, E53, and I'm sure some others. But this was showing you guys how to install it and just a little bit of how to use it. I can go more in depth on how to use it in some of the more in depth features. I will be coming out with a very cool video regarding your coolant buffer gauge on your E46, showing you guys how to fix that because it's very inaccurate on the E46. But that is all I have for today's video. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more BMW content and especially for BMW coding content. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much.